Welcome to your island resort, a perfect getaway to while away the hours without a care in the- Oh, wait, no. This is Evil Genius 2, and this is a mere cover for nefarious world domination. Let's go on a tour of the world's first gameplay trailer with lead designer Rich Edwards. This is Evil Genius 2. It is Rebellion's premier world domination simulator, where we're inviting you to build your very own evil lair into an island paradise. The lair is made up of many different kinds of rooms, from the inner sanctum, where the genius will be plotting their next move, to the barracks, where the minions can rest and regather their strength for the next assault, and the laboratories, where mad science will take place on a daily basis. Ooh. So, who are these guys? Are we in control of this lot? They're your workforce. They're the people who obey your every whim. Um, you tell them what you want done and they will do it. So if you want a new room in your lair, you tell them where it should be, what size, what it should look like, the things it should have in it, and they will go and do it for you. We're using something we call the shoot them you idiots paradigm, where you as the genius are focused on the big picture stuff and your minions worry about the details. I like the idea of having minions, but why are they so essential here? Well, the genius isn't going to do everything themselves. They need people to do things for them. For example, it's very rare to see a genius get so hands-on in their plans and instead rely on a vast network of mooks, goons, thugs to do these things for them. So for fans of the original game, do we have any new types of minions? There's a few remixes in there that I'm sure eagle-eyed fans will spot if they watch the trailer closely. There's a whole bunch of minions that we are actually bringing back from the original. So henchmen seem a bit more important. Who have we got here? Uh, they are your upper class criminals and they serve you directly. So whilst a minion will go away and do something for you, a henchman you can reach in and to give them specific orders. Go and kill that agent, go and interrogate this person. Um, you can also utilise their special abilities, of which they have many. And it looks like we have a few to choose from. We have got a number of henchmen in Evil Genius. They begin life as crime lords, originally opposed to the Evil Genius, but then you're the boss, you'll be bringing them into your own organisation, so you'll be doing battle with their criminal empire. As the genius, it's up to you to show them who's boss and make them fall in line. They're far more competent than your average minions. If you want something done right, you send a henchman to go and do it. We're giving the player a greater measure of control over these characters, and that includes being able to use their special abilities. Well, speaking of people entering the lair, it's time for the seriously satisfying bit. These are traps for secret agents when they get into your lair, right? Yes, they are. We showed off a few last year. We showed off the fan trap, the shark tank and the laser wall, but there's three new ones being shown here. This year, we're showing off the fan trap in game and also the boxing glove in action. If you look carefully, you can also see a large fake safe designed to frustrate thieves and an array of poison darts. Players will be able to chain these however they want to create unique trap combinations that really destroy any agents who come hunting through their lair. So for fans of the series, this is actually the return of Maximilian as the evil genius? Yes, it is. This is Maximilian. As supervillains go, he's pretty much the gold standard. Uh, we've also brought back Red Ivan, who's a henchman in the first game, given him a bit of a promotion, turned him into a genius of his own right. And there's some extra new blood in there too. We have two of the geniuses who we'll be talking about at a later date. Ooh, intriguing. Speaking of intriguing, Doomsday devices. What can you tell me, Rich? I mean, what's a villain without a villainous plan? Um, every villain needs a doomsday device, and you can't really call yourself a villain if you don't have one. Each genius has their own doomsday device, tailored to their own unique playstyle. We'll be talking more about those in the days to come, but they each have their own distinct power, and every time you fire it at the world, you'll be making a ginormous impact. Thank you. So that's everything you need to know about taking over the world in Evil Genius 2. Wishlist the game right now on Steam and subscribe to Rebellion to make sure you always get the latest evil intel. Hit the notification bell and you'll never miss another update.